Okay, so here we are inside of Mixcraft 8. Let's just quickly go through how to set this thing up. I'm just going to take the defaults for project settings. We'll click OK. And there we go. We ended up with four audio tracks and one acoustic piano track. I, I Maybe we'll get rid of one of these. We can delete a track quite easily. Just right click. And there we go. We got uh, two and one. We can also add a track, insert track. We'll add an audio track. Let's make it a virtual instrument track. And that kind of looks like the top one, except for that this has an instrument assigned to it already. To assign an instrument, all you do is click here. And so we've got acoustic piano. Let's go to musical typing. Just click on this once. That should have worked. Uh-oh. And it looks like it crashed. Oh, there we go. I don't want that. Okay. Okay, let's try musical typing and see if that works. There we go. And if we... And we can also record. And to record, all we do is arm. Click the record button. And... stop it and that'll give us our first loop and there it is go back we can play it. now the neat thing about this is you can change the instrument as well and all we would do is click here and let's go to guitar acoustic guitar uh, let's see let's try this one and we've changed it now to greasy frets guitar and there we go we changed the instrument it's just that easy which is really cool we can also mute this channel, uh, which now if we click the play button, which is just a space bar, by the way, it's all I'm doing, uh, nothing happens. Uh, we can solo it as well. I'll unmute it and click solo. And now if you have multiple tracks, it'll only play that track. I'm going to mute it, though, because I'm going to show you a couple different ways to create music. And another one is uh, using the library. And what we'll do is, well, let's just see what we got here. Uh, loops. Let's, let's go to all loops, and there should be a bunch of them. I'm going to scroll down to my favorite, which is Celtic, and I can listen to the track here. Find one I like. No, thank you. No. No. Oh, let's try fiddle melody. Perfect. So I can double click it or drag it in and set it wherever I want. I'll put it right there. And there we go. We've got our first loop set in place. <laughs> Sounds very nice. By the way, I might put some more audio tracks in here so we can insert a track as well, make another audio track. Let's do four so we can, we could easily have four if we wanted to. Uh, let's find some more things that we can play. Uh, I'm not sure what all that is. Oh, we definitely need that one. I'll drag that in. We'll start it right about here. Uh, let's see. Flute melody. I think we're going to need that. Oh, beautiful. I'll just drag that here. And by the way, we can extend those. And all, all it's doing is repeating that original loop, okay, as we drag it out, which is really quite handy. We could make this into a loop as well, too, by the way. Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'll try to come back to that if I can remember. Let's go back down here and get some drums. No, uh, let's see. No, there'll be some good. Oh, yeah, toms. Oh, that's the one. All right. Drag this out. I don't know how this is going to sound. It's just fun, right? Whoa, amazing stuff. Okay, so there's uh, uh, there are our loops. And so, of course, you can do lots with loops. You can actually work on, uh, you, well, you can pan left or right. Okay, so if you want this more to come out the left side and one out the right side, that will work. Here, let's just switch that one right over to the left. Uh, I'll mute this one as well, too. And we should mostly hear this in the left side. Okay, that's working for me. I'm not sure if it'll, it'll work for you. Depends on whether you're set to stereo mode or not. Let's put that back in the middle. Let's mute all of these. And I'm going to add one more track here. Actually, we'll use this one here. This will be the third way to create music. And what I'm going to do is select virtual synthesizers. There we go. VSC Instruments has got some installed already. You can actually add your own as well, too. Very easy to do, do that. I did link to a video. But let's just pick one here. We'll edit, and I'm going to take some uh, or test out some of the defaults. You can see there's a whole bunch of them in here. I'll just actually just leave the first one on here and see how that sounds. So again, we go musical typing. And now if we hold the note down, we should get something happening, and it's not working. 
Not sure why. Let's try a different one. Let's try Alpha Sampler. And again, we'll go Edit so we can see this thing. And if we play a note, hmm. Okay, let's try something. Ah, this one is armed. I, that could be why. Let's arm it and see if that helps. No, still nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. This is supposed to work. We definitely have that selected. Uh, we've got impulse selected. We'll click edit. Turn a bender, sounds good. There we go. And you basically do the same thing we did before. We've got it armed. Click record when you're ready. I'll put this back here. Put the time, there we go. Click record and and we'll click stop. Okay, I'm gonna close all these down and let's see how this sounds. Now, instead of muting all of these, another thing I could have done is just click solo, and that just plays that track. So once again, to go back to this, let's uh, solo this one. And if we go back to sound here, we can actually drag this so I could create my own loop is really what this is uh, doing. And if we drag this loop end. If we drag that to here, what we've got, and you can see it's actually doing it here, it'll just keep repeating only that section because that's now our sound loop that we created. One more thing you can do that's really handy is you can actually, Please call the office. you can actually tweak each note. Okay, now this is writing, but we can also uh, edit them as well too. So if we just click there, I can drag that note or I can extend it if I want to. Okay, or I can hit the delete button and get rid of it. So you have all kinds of control over these notes, moving them horizontally, dragging them, or of course, uh, pencil and adding new ones. Well, that should give you the basics. I hope that's, uh, that helps you out. Oh, one more thing I should tell you. You're going to save this, and when you save it, it's going to save it as a Mixcraft file. So put this somewhere where you'll be able to find it. I'll put it on this PC. Uh, and this is just a little test project. But once you've done that, so this allows us to actually edit and create the music, but that file only works with Mixcraft. It's not an audio file per se. Uh, in order to get an audio file, we have to go mix down two, and I would just select MP3. And we'll just call this uh, test. Click save. Yeah, click uh, file name is test. Not sure what happened there. And there's our file. <laughs> Now, of course, it's only playing a single instrument because everything else is muted. It sets a solo. If we put all of these things on at one time, it's going to sound horrible. All right, there we go. That's it. Over and out.